Hello everyone, Will here from Bob Visuals, and today we're going to be looking at the ongoing debate of softboxes versus LED panels for lighting. Because I really wanted to do a variety of tests, this video is going to be quite long. However, I have time stamped specific tests, so you can just skip to that if needed. First, let's start off with what you get in the box. Most softbox kits that I've seen for sale contain two softboxes, two stands, two bulbs of varying brightness, but the most popular ones are around 135 watts. The most popular LED panels, however, usually come with one panel, a few different color temperature diffusers, and a hot shoe mount. I broke mine, but they are usually included. And that's about it in terms of what you get with an LED panel. No stands or reflectors are included whatsoever. You can, however, get a more expensive kit, but they are considerably more expensive, and as all I use mine for is light painting for my b-roll, it was not worth the extra money. Okay, so now that we've got out of the way, let's just run the tests. So the first test is going to be a direct light, and we're going to have lighting with one softbox, two softboxes, and the LED panel. We will also try including some tests utilizing ambient light, as well as bringing in a warm background light like the one behind me right now. Finally, my test subject will be the famous Instagram star known as Hans that I actually had in a video back in 2015 and there will be both graded and ungraded footage. Now that that's out of the way, let's get on with the tests. soft light when used directly, as well as being a lot less harsh to look at, unlike the LED panel. They also do a lot better job of not tinting the skin, unlike the LED panel, which gave the skin a bit of a green hue, despite all bulbs being rated at 5500k. Alright, so Hans has actually just gone for his Instagram break, but that's going to give me just enough time to set up my next lighting setup. Next, we're going to try bounce light. For this test, I hung a bed sheet over a curtain rail and reflected the lights off it. Again, we're going to be using our one softbox, two softboxes and LED system, as this works pretty well for the previous set of tests.
Now the LED panel actually did a lot better in these tests. So as the tests show, a lovely soft cinematic look with a dark background can be achieved with the LED panel. And the only downside I found was that the image was a lot darker than with the softbox setup, meaning that I had to crank the ISO to 3200. So if we add any other lights to the setup, then they will appear blown out. So now that we have a good idea of how each performs, let's talk about some of the other key features of lighting. As both the first and second test showed, the softboxes did a much better job of illuminating a lot of the image, however, it isn't all bad for the LED panels as this may not be a good thing, as often films do have a slightly darker background, especially with portrait shots. LED panels are also a lot more versatile, as this set is battery powered, so they are an obvious choice for portable shooting, as well as the previously mentioned light painting. As I said before though, this set does have a slightly green tint, and the only thing that can be adjusted is the brightness, so no white balance adjustments can be made, hence why I would recommend spending a bit more and getting a more advanced LED panel kit. Features I would suggest are wired and wireless mode to save battery, variable brightness, and adjustable white balance. Stands are also a nice addition, but slide in diffusers are pretty much useless as they barely diffuse any light whatsoever and still cause it to be fairly concentrated. Overall, for quick and easy performance, I would definitely recommend the softbox kit as there's two and they're great for YouTube as well as permanent studio spaces. However, if you need the versatility of an LED kit, for example portable shooting, I would definitely recommend an LED kit, just not this one as there's only one and like I said, there's a green tint. I would recommend LED panels for something such as interviews or portable shooting. I'll leave my favourite kits of each in the description below. Thank you for watching, remember to like the video. If you want to see more videos like this then please subscribe. There's one thing left to say and that is goodbye. One problem I might be able to help you deal with.